Welcome back. Uh, Operation Pixel, we're playing Zoids with Argon. I all figured that. out how to look around. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> uh, so Argon learned a couple things at the end of the last episode. Uh, and then we took a brief look at the manual, see if there's anything else interesting. It said A and X, right? We want to watch for the Let's EX go. meter. Where? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you don't have that function yet, or something? I'll keep an eye out, though. Because it said in the, the manual that if, he's, if the EX meter is blinking, he can uh, do some sort of ultra-lethal attack. And... run away. Yeah. Don't forget about your uh, lock on with R. Yeah, I've been using it. Okay. It's hard. It's hard to tell. I've I've, I've seen this a lot when like Ark's playing games and other people. That like, especially when I'm trying to be helpful, it's like I can't tell what the buttons do, or which buttons they are or are not pressing. So like, I can try to be helpful, but I have no idea if I am or not. <laughs> oh, it's that thing. Yeah. Screw that guy. Oh, I see. You just got the boosters now, so you can run away quicker. Yeah. It's probably a good call. Shield didn't seem to be helping you very much. Nice. Kill him. Kill him. Almost got this guy. Oh, fuck. Uh -oh. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Uh-oh, <laughs> that was close. Still took some damage, but... You didn't get hit by his pounce there. I guess this is kind of interesting, though. It's like this uh, it's this big kind of open-world map here. Yeah. I mean, I really like this game. You got this, this high mobility. So just charging through it. It is kind of interesting. Um... You know, maybe you're not even supposed to fight the uh, tiger guy. Maybe you're supposed to kill like five of these dudes and just avoid that one. And that's why it advises you to not uh, stay in one place. Um. But yeah, I know. I know we were talking about uh, playing this game here today, uh, and you and I were talking a little bit about like it'd be kind of interesting if they made like a new Zoids game with like. You know, Xbox One or PS4 Four graphics. graphics. That the high resolution and the superior frame rate and hyper realistic textures and stuff. Be pretty rad. Could be pretty rad. The uh, the basic sales pitch of it was basically like Titanfall but with Zoids. Yeah. <laughs> Watch. Oh. Gotta get out of here. Is that tiger catching up? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of fun, though. I like this this plan that we've come up with, though. Basically, yeah. kill the easy guys and run away from that one. <laughs> well, then I have to... Ooh. Ah. Uh, missed. You just have to kill five of them. Oop. Also, I don't know if it's an EX meter, but your thing next to your health bar there is yellow. I don't want call it blinking. Whoa! Hello. What was that? Uh, not sure. Someone's definitely chasing after you with missiles, though. Oh, God. There's a bunch of them here. There's like three guys on your short-range radar there. You're doing good, though, in general. You're not dead. That's a plus. <laughs> I need to get out of my... Long range. I need to get the long range. Yeah. You need to divide them. Oh, God. That really hurt. Okay, so the yellow, I think, basically just meant you were at medium health. So now it's red. I can't get out of it. Oh, that's the EX meter, though. Oh. You see it? Yeah. It's blinking. You can do ultra lethal attack now. If you can live long enough to do it. So I think it was pressing A and X at the same time. Oh god. Oh god, give it to him! That didn't do anything. Uh, I'm not sure if he did it. The EX is still blinking. Dang. It's better though. Getting somewhere. Yeah, definitely. But you weren't kidding, man. Last time you said that this game was hard. You were not joking.
Like, it- like, the box looks like a complete kid's game, too. Well, Zoids is pretty much a kid's series, really. Like... I mean, that that's- that, the weird thing about Zoids is that, like... I'm honestly not sure- I would actually say it's probably more of, like, a teenager thing. Yeah. Cause, uh... The, uh, the main series that I remember coming out in the United States was the, um... Okay. I can't remember go. what it was called. But, uh... It was on Toonami for a while. On, like, Cartoon Network. Um. And it was maybe okay. I never really cared for that one too much. But they did eventually have uh, another one that was, um. Zoid's Chaotic Century. Uh. And I think my mom recorded that one for us mostly, because that was back in the VCR days. And, um. I remember that one being really cool. Like, Van Fly Height and yeah. Zeke and uh, Fiona, I think. And then there was uh, the other guys, Irvine and, and Moonbay, I think. Yeah. Does that sound right? Okay, so I can't... Uh, if I let all of my boost go down, it takes forever to go back up. But if I ah, don't... Okay. All I need to do is just, like... So what you need to do is use boost wisely. Use the boost to get through. <laughs> um. See, I just need to get some distance between yeah. me and that. I was gonna say the the only problem I can foresee with this this right now is that you do have a time limit on this level, so you have to be somewhat aggressive, but carefully aggressive. <laughs> Also, apparently there's, like, no enemies on the north side of the map. There's one, finally. Uh, but yeah, Chaotic Sentry was a lot of fun. That's that's what I really like about Zoids. But I think the only time Zoids that I'm aware of was, like, on, like, uh, our American TV channels. It was on, at like, 6 in the morning. Uh, which is part of the reason I never watched it, except when my mom VCR'd it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how you saw it. Um, I, I only saw it when I was, like, at a friend's house or something. Oh, okay. Maybe I lent you the, the VCRs or something. Or the, uh, the, the VHS tapes. I don't know. I don't like this. Is he right up there? Probably. Oh! <laughs> Blowing up buildings. Oh, yeah, that's him. That's the Zaber Fang. I'm not sure you want to mess with the Zaber Fang. I mean, if you kill it, you, you might not have to worry about it. It'd be pretty easy to kill everything else here. I'll just sit here and... Like, oh, and he's not very good at dealing with your, uh... flurry of missiles. Oh, man. Oh, except he got help. Oh, interesting. Your, um, thing in the middle there is red again. Yeah, because I've taken some damage. Yeah, but it was like... It turned yellow before when you were at, like, mid-health, and then turned red when you were at, like, low health. So I'm just not sure why it turned red earlier Get out of here! Oof. I will consult the manual while you, uh, desperately cling to life. Well, I still got some decent health. Yeah, man, you're doing good. Uh, okay, so let's see. According to the manual, that is Object H. H is your body gauge. This gauge represents damage to your Zoid's body, as seen from above. There are six segments. Head, torso, uh, right front leg, left, right rear leg, left front, the left rear, you get it. Uh, as your Zoid receives repeated damage to a particular segment, that segment will change color. Uh, first from red to, yeah. So, when a body segment turns red, your Zoids has sustained serious damage to that segment. Uh, note, damage cannot be fixed during a battle. Your Zoids is automatically repaired between stages. Okay. So, I think that basically means your body? Is that something Yeah, there? so, like, my mid-body is... Yeah, your like... torso. Your torso has taken serious damage. I don't know what that means. I don't think it means anything, because I haven't... Oh, crap. So. He's coming up right not here. <laughs> kind of got him on the other side of the building there. 
don't know, it was just interesting, so I was wondering what that meant. And now I know what it means, but I don't know if I, I think it's just means like... anything. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. Yeah! No more Zaber Fang. Oh, man. Everything else here should be cheesecake from now on. I could go for cheesecake. <laughs> Unless they hit me. Yeah, I'm sure they can do a fair amount of damage, especially with that, like, missile frenzy they started chucking at you. But, uh... In general, those guys don't seem too bad. That's also weird that like you can't damage them while they're down. I think that would be like way just. I mean, it's definitely helpful if like this goes into like a versus mode. Like if you played versus mode on this, like I could see that mattering. Yeah. Uh. Or you know, like again, like it would be really uncool if like it happened to you. But uh. I don't know, just, they seem to stay down for a very long time. In my opinion. I think this is the last one. Uh, could be. Yeah, I think you got it this time. Like, even if this isn't the last one, you're doing really well right now. Except Eat for your, my missiles! Except for your torso. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Oh, you didn't quite finish that one yet. Ha. All right. That that frame rate go, though, yeah. did you? Yeah, it definitely went down for a bit there. <laughs> well, we finally cleared the second level. Woo! <laughs> Don't we feel accomplished? You gotta, you gotta find the the right strategy though. Yeah. No, I gotta say, man, that was definitely uh, like. A lot of these games, you can really brute force, and then sometimes you're like, oh, I actually have to care. <laughs> oh, finally, they're back! When the second battle returns, the Imperial Force is already withdrawn. Seems like the Imperial Force was trying to get this Zoid. Which one, though? Is it the one that... I, I the, can't even... the fancy new model that seems like a classic. But is it that thing? Whatever that thing is. So you're that Shoma! <laughs> Another high-pitched voice person? Might be the same guy. We don't even know. Huh? Oh. Oh, it's another girl, though. <laughs> I was told a while ago that a warrior was looking for you. <laughs> Corporal Tita? How do you do, Shoma? Everyone at the base was in a panic because we couldn't contact you. What happened? What am I talking about? This never occurred. We were scouting out the Imperial base while testing our improved zoids. Oh, she's probably another member of the Blue Unicorn. Only to find the base in the midst of a battle. The worst part was the mixed team of Empire and Republican Warriors. <laughs> we got sucked into the battle. Did you just say Republican Warriors? I think so. <laughs> Zan got separated from us. So much has happened. It's too much. Wait, was Zan the... The guy in Chaotic Zen? Uh, I don't remember anyone named Zan. No, that was Van. Van Flyheight, I think. Oh, that's I don't such think a it was terrible Zan. last name. Oh, huh? no, that's her. That's sorry. I gotta say, man, you're really good at doing that voice. I don't think I could keep it up that long. At that intensity. You gotta throw your voice. Yeah. I heard that it was found at the Republic Empire border during a reconnaissance mission. The Zoid's design is very odd. I know, that's what I was saying. Those attackers seem to be aiming at this one. His name are... It seems to be rocked with Cyclops. Are you the blue unicorn team? Yes, we are. <laughs> what can I do for you? The Imperial Forest may return at any time. Sorry to bother you, but could you transfer the Cyclops to an air base? Request accepted. Show what you're ready. Yes, Corporal. I'll be honored to pilot the new experimental weapon. <laughs> Can you read this, my voice? <laughs> Is it hurting? No, it's just like I was having a conversation with myself. Yeah, it no, it's, weird. it's a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> it's one of my favorite parts, honestly, about doing the dialogue for these games. Just because, like, you know, playing the game is fun. But, like, making silly voices is a lot of fun. We'll be arriving at the airbase soon. Hope that nothing happens before we get there. <laughs> Sorry to inform you, Corporal. The Imperial Force is on our radar. Shoma, we're fighting back. Protect the hover cargo. A little further and our escort teams will be waiting for us. Until then, 
Don't let the enemy come close to the hover cargo. Wow, you sure have a lot of lines. Roger, I'll protect the hover cargo. <laughs> oh, I remember this. Oh, man. This, uh, this one sucks. Escort missions always do. Okay, so we have some new weapons. Better put those to good use. Well, look at this. Gotta protect that Oh, thing. there you go. Sea Ooh, Striker. Snail robots. Oh, I hate Molgas. <laughs> I remember them. Dude, those things were like the freaking trash mobs in the series. Yeah. They still suck. <laughs> Probably large numbers of them. Like, Maybe they're just hard to hit. I don't know. I think I can buy... Okay, so... I don't mean, you got sweet rockets. You got a lot of them. Well... You got locking on technology. So do we want the... Oh. Okay, so I can do... Let's do that. I still like the assistant booster. Mm -hmm. I don't know what a blade antenna is. Um, let's see. Uh, a map radar reinforcing part. Why is it called a blade radar? Uh, radar scope plus 100. Or blade antenna. Searching ability 40. I think this is a better one. If you say so, I mean, I don't, I don't freaking know what any of that crap means. And I'll do the alpha plug Z. System save. Oh, saving's good. Cool. All right. Actually, before we go into that next one, uh, next next battle here, we're gonna come back next time on Operation Pixel. Uh, we now have, we now have a friend. I think Is she helping us fight. Um. Is she on the map info there. Uh. Given this an ally. No. Oh, you do. Yes. Oh no. It's the hover cargo. I guess she's driving or something. Yeah. I mean, look at the massive cannons on that thing. Anyways, so we'll come back next time, uh, and I guess you'll just have to do everything again okay. by yourself. <laughs> and maybe if we're lucky, we'll get to another dialogue part. Okay. <laughs>